What is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And fellas, we are playing some free for all using the 725 shotgun. And this is Mr. Soldier's shotgun, 725 shotgun class setup. I have not used the 725 in such a long time, man. But I've been out here in these lobbies getting absolutely destroyed by 72. Look, this guy got a 725. The 725 shotty is everywhere, man. Everyone's using it. Didn't Infinity War nerf this thing like five or six times, man? <laughs> people are still out here annihilating people with the 725 shoddy. So, you know what, man? If I'm going to play this game, I don't really like it that much. So, I'm just going to embrace the cheese, man. The only way I can play. Is that a guy? Look at this dude. This dude was like standing there like I couldn't believe it. The old man eyes, fellas. It's tough, man. I'm telling you. I have such a hard time seeing people in this game. I have never played a COD game that strained my eyesight more than this. It is super hard. This is like got to be the hardest COD to see people in ever. Ooh, little RPG of justice, baby. But guys, the future is getting pretty scary. And by the way, if you wanna see this class set up, I will throw a screenshot of it at the end of the video. You guys can check out Mr. Soldier's 725 shotgun class setup. And this is my first time using it, and I dropped a, well, I won't spoil the ending, but I dropped a real good gameplay, man. Let's just say I hit the score limit this game, fellas. I hit the score limit. Oh man, get that, yo. Get them likes up, homie. Get them likes up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Oh, by the way, uh, speaking of which, uh, as you guys might notice, I have my new little animations. I'll, I'll throw one up on the screen right here. The like and subscribe animation and, you know, the turn the notifications on and, and follow me on Twitter and all this stuff. I recently went out and got a pixel pack. Uh, if you guys want a pixel pack like this, I will put the link to the dude on Twitter. You could hit him up. He's super cool. He'll make you. He's got his own store. You can buy whatever pixel pack you want. Um, but, you know, I... I I had a guy comment in my last video. I'll put the comment up on the screen. The dude basically calling me a sellout, man. He's called me a sellout because I'm using like and subscribe animations on my videos now. Like, like, bro, who? this don't make any sense, man. Who am I selling out to? Am I selling out to myself? Stupid. <laughs> How can you sell out to yourself, man? How am I a sellout for trying to um, remind people to like and like the video and subscribe to me if they enjoy the video? I mean, I don't know. I mean, listen, I, yeah, I see a lot of the other major YouTubers using graphics like this, and it seems to be working for them, man. And in case you guys haven't noticed, this channel is uh, subscriberly challenged, man. <laughs> like, I've been on 730,000 subs for like the last five years, bro. So I'm trying some different techniques, man. Can you blame me? I mean, have I not grinded for my spot long enough where I can switch things up and try some new things, fellas? Come on, man. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. I tried doing things the old-fashioned way, the old-school way for the longest time. It didn't really work out too well for me, man. Just like in this game. I tried rushing, tried running around, but I got tired of trying to cross the street, getting shot by nine different people, running into buildings, getting pre-aimed by dudes who can hear me coming from a mile away. So, yo, I'm just going to camp my booty off, son. I'm going to camp my booty off in this game. It is what it is, people. But listen, I so look at that feed, son. Damn, the kill streaks and the claymores dominating the feed, son. <laughs> yo. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, guy, look at this, man. Yo, I'm telling you, my streaks are going in this game, fellas. See, sometimes this game can be fun, man. When your streaks are going in, the game can be fun. There you go. I had fun in this gameplay. Just want to throw that out there right now. This was a fun gameplay for me. And this is very rare because it is not very often I actually have fun while I'm playing this game. But this was definitely a fun game for me. I think skill-based matchmaking took the day off when I hopped in this lobby because the dudes I'm playing against in this lobby, uh, yeah, let's just say... <laughs> Definitely not the best dudes I've ever played. Uh, but I saw something else on Twitter, guys, and I want to share this with you. Now, a few videos back, I talked about the PS5 and how I'm excited for COD 2020. And, you know, it's probably going to be on the next-gen console. And I was talking about how crazy it is that, yo, like, it seems like the other day we was opening up the PS4s and the Xbox Ones. And now we got the Xbox Series X dropping and the um, PS5 dropping seven years later. Them seven years flew by, fellas, didn't it? Tell you, man, it seems like just the other day I went out and got the Xbox to play Titanfall. And it seems like just the other day I went out and bought the PS4 to play Destiny 2. And uh, even though I regret <laughs> Destiny 2 being such a flop in the beginning, even though I heard Destiny 2 is really good right now, 
Uh, but both games that I bought the consoles for didn't really turn out as good as I thought they would be. Titanfall was a fun game to play. For whatever reason, man, it just would not take off on YouTube. And uh, Destiny 2, uh, yeah, <laughs> Destiny 2, I, I want to get back into it, guys. I just, I'm just so far behind, man. I need a fire team to carry me through a few raids, a few nightfalls, and I'll be right back on track. Uh, so if any of you guys want to play Destiny 2 with me, man, let me know. Drop it down in the comment section. Uh, drop your PSN, uh, because I only play Destiny on PlayStation. Drop your PSN, I'll hit you up. But it looks like the PS5 controller is going to be able to detect sweat what? and heart rate. Yo, check this out, fellas. Look at this article, man. The PS5 is going to be so advanced. The PS DualShock 5 is going to be able to detect how sweaty you are and what your heart rate is, man. So we will definitely have true sweat-based matchmaking. Oh, my goodness, that dude got bodied. <laughs> We will definitely be able to have true sweat-based matchmaking in COD 2020, man. Treyarch and Sledgehammer Games next uh, COD game. Oh, that dude got bodied, man. Come on in. The RPG of justice, man. I'm telling you, fellas, very, very rare gameplay where just everything was working out for me, and I was having a good time. I mean, look at this dude here. Come on in. Oh, get bodied by the RPG of justice, son. Damn. <laughs> I got wrecked, man. Yo, shout out to Mr. Soldier. Thank you so much for the 725 shotgun class, homie. If you guys want to watch him live stream, I will link Mr. Soldier's Twitch. I oh, know he don't stream on Twitch. I think he streams on YouTube. Yo, Soldier, why you stream on YouTube, man? How could you wait on Twitch? What's better, fellas, YouTube or Twitch for streaming? Someone drop it down in the comment section, man. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, what's next, fellas? Is the PS5 controller going to be able to detect, like, your rhythm, too? Like, you want to be able to hook up electrodes while you're playing? I'll tell you what, man, that just might save my life. If the sniping... In Black Ops 5, is anything like it was in Black Ops 2 and COD World War 2? Uh, that PS5 controller just might save my life, man, because I could very well stroke out playing that game, man. Let's hope Treyarch and Sledgehammer Games don't go crazy with the snipers, man, because Sledgehammer Game, COD World War 2, the sniping is outrageous. Uh, I don't even know what's worse, the sniping of COD World War 2 or the sniping of Black Ops 2. I, I have no idea, man. I just hope the sniping in uh, Treyarch's next game is like it was in Black Ops 3, man. Please, please. But uh, anyway, fellas, getting back to this shotgun, man, the 725 shotgun. Uh, what is it with shotguns lately in Call of Duty, man? They are extremely overpowered, man. I mean, you could go back to, like, the last two COD games, and I'm sure... No, the last three COD games, you had Granddad's Flaming Shotgun Cheese in uh, COD World War II. One of the most annoying weapons you will ever play against in your life. I mean, all the shotguns in COD World War II put in work, but the flaming shotgun, the combat shotgun, oh my goodness, dude, it's so annoying. And then you've got the strobe light of justice, you've got the MOG, <laughs> yeah, the MOG is just ridiculous. And then even the striker shotgun, I mean, not the striker, the rampage, which is basically the striker. Uh, I did a rampage best class setup on my second channel, Thunderstruck Gaming. Uh, I'll pin that at the top of the comment section. You guys can go check that out. Uh, but, man, that shotgun even puts in work, dude. I was abs I just absolutely decimated the lobby with the Rampage shotgun. But, uh, man, you guys remember when shotguns weren't overpowered? And, damn, I'm I hate how long it takes to call in streaks in this game, man. I hate it. What was that Call of Duty game where you just flick the button and your streak comes in so it doesn't, like, take you out of the game? That's kill streaks need to come in quick, man. When you get them, they need to come in fast. You can't be sitting there messing around like, oh, where am I gonna plant it? Just have the streak come in and hit people, man. What do I need to aim at people for? Streaks should be fast when you call them in. Everything should be smooth and slick in Call of Duty. I shouldn't have to take time out of the game to open up a laptop and look around. Where am I gonna plant this thing? Uh, but anyway, man, yeah, shotguns, bro. I'm tired of them being overpowered in Call of Duty, man, honestly. I mean, I'm playing like this with the 725 because it's just overpowered and it's just cheese man and like this game forces you to play with certain weapons it really does <laughs> modern snorefare forces you to play with certain weapons man there's like five or six good weapons in this game really good weapons top tier weapons and like the rest are all trash I mean, because that's what i see in the lobby i go in these lobbies i see people using the same guns i hardly ever see anyone using a gun i've never seen before it's either like the mp5 the 725 shotgun the ram 7 the Growl 5.56, which, by the way, I finally unlocked, fellas. Don't have any attachments for it yet, but I finally unlocked it. Uh, the M4, you know what I'm saying? It's like you only see the same handful of weapons in these lobbies, man. So, like I said, I just embraced the cheese. But I am tired of shotguns being overpowered in COD. The last three COD games, shotguns have been ridiculous. And this 725 shoddy, even after all the nerfs, it's still, like, ridiculous. It's one of the most overpowered weapons in the game still. And uh, watch this game when it kill camera here, fellas. Check this out, man. Check, come on in. 
Oh, get bodied by the RPG at Just the Sun. Two back-to-back -back score limit gameplays with the 725 shot. You see what I'm saying, fellas? If you want to get a score limit, you got to use a 725. Even after all the nerfs, the shotguns are still OP as hell. So let me ask you guys this. Do you? <laughs> Damn, that guy got wrecked. Oh, my God. He did a somersault, too. Yo. <laughs> that is hilarious, man. Anyway, guys, here is the Mr. Soldier 725 shotgun class setup that I was using in this gameplay. These are the attachments. And oh my goodness, man, this shotgun absolutely slaps. But drop it down in the comment section, fellas. Are you guys tired of overpowered shotguns? Or do you want them to go back to the way they were, like in COD 4 and in Black Ops 1? You guys remember the Spaz 12 in Black Ops 1? Like, you know, it, was, it wasn't completely useless, but if you were good with it, it was a good weapon. It was a fun weapon to use. Uh, shotguns really started becoming overpowered in the Black Ops 2 era. You guys remember the Remington Cheese in the Black Ops 2 era? Yo, if they ever remaster Black Ops 2, that's all I'm going to do is run with the Remington, son. That's a Remington and Dexterity. Blow! The red screen gun. <laughs> I have just become a shotgunner in like the last, I'd say the last two years of Call of Duty. I've definitely become a shotgunner. Uh, in COD 2020, I'll probably still be a shotgunner. I don't know. We got to see what uh, Treyarch and Sledgehammer Games got in store for us. But anyway, guys. Uh, that was the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, man, don't hate the player. Hate the game, man. If, if, I mean, camping is the only way to play free-for-all in this game, unfortunately. I try and move. I get, you know, people hear me from a mile away. All the dudes in my lobbies, I mean, all these guys got, like, the most uh, expensive version of Astro and Turtle Beaches you money can buy. Trust me. <laughs> I mean, every time I, I run around with them footsteps, I'm just ringing the dinner bell out here, man. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.